in our pregame show, Darren Haynes was about. so confident that the Pittsburgh about. Steelers would win this game that about. he said, If the Washington football team wins and beats the undefeated Pittsburgh Steelers, I will break dance on this show. <laughs> Keep it real. Who do you think will win this game? What is your prediction for a final score here? I have Washington Redskins, Washington football team, 35. I have Tampa 16. What? Whoa! What? He just dropped in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me <laughs> make sure I'm okay and come hey, back. Suit it or boot it. Uh, so yeah. I guess we start off with who? Nick Sunberg. We were just talking about his yeah, loads of love and what he's doing in regards okay. to the community. Which, but he needs to give that jacket yeah. back to the community. <laughs> now, hands down, Thomas Davis wins this game all day. Look at this. How much money is all that's that right there? That's a, a lot, lot of that's a lot of money to go to a game to lose. You're stranded on an island, Jason, and you can only pick between one of these two articles of clothing to wear. A Giants jersey or a Cowboys jersey. It's horrifying. I'd rather I'd rather just be butt naked. Alright, so this is now the best time of the show. The best time. And the best time is because it is the best time because we involve you. The viewers. DC Ocho says Pittsburgh is going down today. Some of the fans like <laughs> Wayne Albertson on our Facebook page mm -hmm. wants Washington to tank to get Trevor Lawrence. And if you don't know mm. who Trevor Lawrence is, huh. the dude's a certified baller. Okay, I like this. Jasmine Hudson, we're looking good right now. They are hungry for the opportunity. Washington all the way. Jasmine, I'm with you. You can comment on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. You'll hear first. Head coach Ron Rivera on our post game show. Ron, this is Darren Haynes. How would you describe this entire year, everything you went through, the hills and the valleys to get to this point, anyways? Um, wow, that's a, that's a tough question, Darren. I really haven't had a chance to think about that, but I, I, I do know it's been a, it's been everything. It really has. Well, here's something that's really important about the Washington football team and why Antonio Gibson he needs to stretch his hamstrings, y'all. <laughs> when seriously, when Washington runs the ball more than 30 times in a game, they're 4-0. and When they don't, mm. they're 0-7. All right, all right. I'm telling right. you, Antonio Gibson, he better. Let's see that run <laughs> game today. Get that hamstring <laughs> stretched oh, out. And I'm seeing uh, quite a few comments here about that O-line. Did, 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 did the comments yeah. say the offensive Joe line stinks? Joe Preveritas, excuse me if I'm not saying that right, says the O-line is straight garbage. I, I'm okay. with you. <laughs> straight, do, tell him to give me a trash can. Hold on. <laughs> that, that, is, that is a comment of the week. Right, you're looking at the Washington football offensive line. Yes, right there, oh. straight garbage, according to Joe. When you don't have an offensive line, you yeah. can't you can't run the ball, you mm -hmm. can't pass the ball. It no. is like a house with no foundation. The offensive line is your foundation. Try to build a house on mud. That bad boy's gonna sink. It, like you, yeah. you need a foundation. And since there's no offensive line, you're gonna continue, continue to have struggles. I don't care if you're Dwayne Haskins, Kyle Allen, or you're Alex Smith right. who got sacked how many times today, Charla? Six. Six times. And who blocks those guys who, 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 who got those six sacks? It's just so The tough. offensive line. Yes. Yeah. Straight trash. I think that they are going to beat the Bengals. They are going to win next week. Yes. Speak your mind. I'm speaking my mind. <laughs> I think Alex Smith is going to get that win that he has wanted for so long as a starting quarterback. This is really intense music. A lot of people happy. We're talking Gre about a win for a change. Gregory Williams says uh, division. Don't talk. Don't talk like T-A-W-T. -T. Don't talk about no division. He was their leading rusher today. He's their leading rusher for the Giants was their quarterback, Daniel Jones. He rushed for 74 yards. That can't happen. <laughs> Here's your Super Bowl odds, because we already okay. gave you the odds of them possibly getting into the playoffs, their chances, and winning their division. So the Washington football team, <clears throat> ooh, that's not good. They have a 1% chance at winning the Super Bowl. This is according to 538.com. So you're saying there's a chance. Oh, here But we since go. 1998, I'm going to let it breathe. Okay, the I'm Washington, ready. I'm the, ready to soak it in. The Washington football team is 5-24 and 24 on Monday night games. Ooh, well, they're that about is, to be six and twenty-four. Yeah, that. that oh wait, what did Topper say? <laughs> yeah, he. It is, it is. Oh yeah, it's five o'clock, so it's not really into the no, night. No, no. If I'm a, <laughs> to, our Topper, our meteorologist is here. I'm about to shut him down and use my own <laughs> science. Listen, I went to school at the University of Rhode Island. My freshman year, I was a science major, so I'm gonna use my scientific knowledge. When the sun sets, those street lights come on. And when those street lights come on, your, your mom says, you better get your behind inside the house. That means it's nighttime. 
The sun sets at what time today? 446 is when the when the when the sun sets. That means it's nighttime. Okay, this is a nighttime so game. The this is a Monday night game because it's nighttime. The sun's down. The street lights are on. And my mom's telling me come inside or so you're, you're going to get in trouble. So you're saying they don't play well on Mondays, but you know what? They no, do, not at do all. well. Five, I'm going to switch. 24. It's it's the worst record during that span on it's, Monday night. Yeah, it's not good in the NFL. They're Washington going to the Super Bowl next year. Who's going to the Super Bowl? Uh, the Washington Football Team. All right, digital editor, make sure we save that as well so we can roll this next year but when the Washington football team makes I it to the know. Super Bowl. I'm only saying off of Ron Rivera, what he was able to do with Carolina, what he was able to do in developing young players, one of those young players being Cam Newton, and then able to take that team from a losing season into a 15-1 and season and headed to the Super Bowl. It was something that many did not predict. But you know what? <laughs> you, you, she's going to be the happiest woman in the world if they do make it to the <laughs> Super Bowl. She'll be all in my face. I told you so. I told you you're going to make the Super Bowl. Roll the tape back in 2020. <laughs> well, we also have um, Susan Jeffries saying she really doesn't like either team. Okay, but she would like it if Washington beat the Steelers to ruin that perfect record. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that you know who that no is. That's, likes that's perfection unless you're living in Pittsburgh. The person who's not a Pittsburgh Steelers fan and not a Washington football fan, you know what kind of fan they are? What? They are a Dallas Cowboys uh, fan. And they don't want to admit true. it because they're in the bottom of the NFC East. That's they're afraid true. they're going to get embarrassed like they've been throughout mm -hmm. the entire season. So for all the Dallas Cowboy fans, don't be scared.